How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You want to go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Do like eating, though, right? Because we got to find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I, I'm not very good at this. At fishing or, or walking? At talking with you. But, but fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No, I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and life. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea... He was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now, reel. I got him. <laughs> What do you think? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey. My trip with Arthur... I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up. Dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find them. Rufus! Come on, boy! 
Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Get the poison out! Spit it out! Don't swallow it! Well, suck it, Dad! No, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail, can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son.
Buffalo wouldn't wake him up. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <laughs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie, <laughs> you're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We've... I'm sorry, I you thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. 
I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... Uh, there's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Or the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. You want to work? Let's do it. Go! Say your goodbyes, Joan. We're off. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place, finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch, you were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was, it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. <laughs> We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. <laughs> Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This, this looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> and fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. That's that way, I'd say. Great. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Oh. 
Okay, I think I got it. Wait. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one? Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Go show you. Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Tell me that again. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clubs. Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to take...
brain. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. Get it! Whoa! <laughs> this is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about it? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here we are. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Really funny he is. Could we please get this over and done with? Alone. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? We please get this over and done with. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. That 
is one of my favorites. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? I really do wish you would hurry this along. Could we please get this over and done with? Gavin? That's beautiful. Oh. Has anyone seen Gavin? Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Now that will bring your outfit together. I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Now that goes with outfit. just about any outfit. Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. Has anyone seen... Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that.
quality of that one, right? I feel almost human. Somebody help me! Gav? You lunatic! Gav? Please don't leave me! I've lost my yes. friend! Somebody what is wrong me. with you? They're proud of here. Ah, keeping the soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? Only a trim or something fancy like? Has anyone seen Gavin? Mister? All right. All right. All right. Ah, suits you. up all the latest trends. Thank you. Looks okay. I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Please, tell your friends about us. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Just calm down.
Raven Mystery. Good girl. a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Oh, always was a cold-hearted little woman. You always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. Oh, you'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Uh... Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom and Pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> send your Pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch. This life. It's so nice, John. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John.
And now to Blackwater. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marsden. Oh, I ain't had a drink and... Well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun. Like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters? Portrait? There's a fella in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Fortune it is. so courteous. I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Come along with you. Well, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So... What do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. 
We have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? This one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. Excellent. Oh, I like it. You've done this before. Very good. Quite a pose. Wonderful. That might be the one. So natural, particularly you, sir. How's this? Perfect! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just... Post. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. 
Would you? Thank you. It's, possibly take my it's real fine doing normal things. Come on, John. I'm excited to see it now. And done. Are we going? The picture house is just there. Well, fine then. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. I think you got to buy a ticket. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. OK. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Things that what are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? <laughs> oh, my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seen. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, well, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, Mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think we're borrowing. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? John, you can't tease me like that. Will you... Will you marry me? 
Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> Freya rescued. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plaque. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. 
Come on, let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face there. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. Revenge. That might be something he could have understood. This ain't just revenge. It's about stopping the man. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. Let's see how that life, well, I'd like to try it. Wait, wait, John, you've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine, but we got some business to take care of first. Okay, Strawberry, this is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. Okay, John, Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this boat. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay. Let's go. There. Cleek! Hey, Cleek! Been a while. Shit. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey, murder! I'll hit him hey, up. Stop! 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 Can't escape us, Cleek! Ain't no point in trying. Come here, Fred. I don't know huh? this thing. He got past. Remember us? Joe, you are gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Micah? I ain't seen him. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Anything short of killing will do. Where is he? Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Oh, my neck! Quit squirming. Here we go. I don't know nothing. We need to go. Move. You heard the lady. Get up there. Stop the highway. Keep moving. Hold on. Move. No, no, no. Come here, you bastard. Move it! Come on, move! Here, I want you stood right here. Still. Dog! All right, string the no good murder bastard up. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, 
Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Come on. Talk. Do or I'll pull this lever. Do talk. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. He, he's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm, I'm one of the good guys. Hang him. No. No. Don't do that, John. Uh, I can't do it, Sadie. Not like this. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, 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 no. Come on now. You won't ever see me again. I said hang him. Oh, as you wish. Oh, Jeez. Piece of shit. Let's move on. Come on. A little rat said Mount Hagen. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Yeah! This pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. There must be a sniper. Get in cover, quick. You lie, Charles. Just stop. Don't be careful. Take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp.
you're okay. You're okay. I will be. But go on. Go on now. Move fast. Or they'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want them. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. You don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit uh, down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up Look there it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you.
Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more men coming on! You should run away! Just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, oh. come on now. What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch, we all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, master. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. 
You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. Santo said, oh, one more won't be enough. I'm gonna be enough. Money for everything. Silver toed boots and kerosene. Uh -huh. Come and lay by my side right here. Red, I love you. For the buzzing thing and the choking, I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side, right here. Red, I need you in the world. When I see you behind the glass, I forget that I'm in the cage. They bring me to Sunday mass, but it never. The rage, red, I love you and the world. Seven months gone and seven years to go, red. I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side right here. Red, I love you and the world. Red, I need you. In the world. Must 
that go on Cruel, cruel, I'm moving on I've been living too fast I've been living too wrong Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone This big old world, you got me running round Heard a voice, it told me settle down With the moonlight as my guide And this feeling deep inside I know now that I'm homeward bound As I wander through the pines The whisperings they tell Of the many before me who tried and fell Seeking fortune and ways to get to glory days Looking for a place in this old world Cruel, cruel world must I go on Cruel, cruel world I'm moving on I've been living too fast I've been living too wrong See the fire. 
Anderson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. is good, ain't it? Ah. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Marston. It ain't come. my handsome husband. So I love you. So, we finally made this family honest, son. That's, uh, great, Pa. Really? I was glad you were there for it. We're a family. It's how it should be. Haven't had food like this since, uh, hell, I don't know. Anything Abigail asks you to do, you do it, old man. She's the lady of the house now. Of course, of course. I'll help any way I can. I mean, you know me, John. Oh, I do. Only too well. Don't mind me. Well, we burned the breeze long enough, I reckon.
Hey. Thank you, Uncle. Oh, yeah.